We're going to do something today that you probably won't have seen, which is a testing tank being emptied. The water has been in this tank for about two or three weeks. It's important that when we have a flood, that not only does the door keep the water out on, on the way up, uh, but it also keeps the water out on the way down because a lot of flood doors will leak uh, when the flood water is on its way down. So let's get started now. We've got two pumps, so they empty fairly quickly. Uh, they're on floats, so we just secure the floats by putting this tub of storm dry there. Now I'm going to switch the pumps on. You can see here the threshold is perfectly dry. It's been like that, let's say, for two or three weeks. Now the water's coming down quite quickly because we're not too pumped really. Right. We'll just look again on the outside here, or on the inside rather, and we're inside the house now and see there's no water there. The water, of course, being on the outside of the house, the outside in the testing tank here. Okay, I'm coming again. You're still perfectly dry on the inside of the house here. Water's near the bottom. Okay, when we get the water below uh, the um, threshold of the door, we'll, uh, we'll open the door. back into the testing tank, unlock the door and open it and there we go. Okay, and now we're going to show you how easy it is to lock the door. We're going to do something today. Right, uh, prior to testing with flood water again, I'm going to close the door, I'm going to show you how easy it is to close this uh, Stormmeister flood door uh, as opposed to a conventional flood door um, which uses handle compression to keep the water out we use water pressure to keep the water out so our doors are as easy to close and lock as a normal door there we go, the door is now locked now we'll put some water the door and we'll use two pumps so that you can fill it quite quickly. Okay, and I'll switch the pumps on. <coughs> Okay, perfect, we're going out. If we come around on to the end, uh, sorry, the outside here, see the water's swirling round. I think we can get it. There 
There we go, we've got the water swirling around quite quickly as would be in a normal flood situation. We've just come back on the inside of the house and look at the bottom of the door. Perfectly dry, nothing coming through. A couple of drips are splashed on the floor when I'm messing around with the pipes, but uh, you can see now the water's coming up. Uh, we'll be about uh, 250-300ml now. So we're halfway to the 600, which is a PAS 1188 standard. Extreme testing. Never going to get water quite, uh, quite as lively as this on your front door. We just come back inside. We can see that we are spraying water all over the place. But we're now approaching the 600 uh, mil mark, which is a PAS 1188. Okay. And we are now quite a way over on the uh, we run out of water. Okay. So we pop this back in to stop the water cycling back. We'll switch the pumps off and if we can come around this side with the camera, this where I am, we can see that um, we're well above the 600 mark. The 600 mark is down here, so we're well above. And if we come back on the inside of the house, ignoring the water that I've just splashed all over the place, we can see there's still nothing coming through the door. <laughs> 